And as you are knowing that the first slide always gives you the option that you may have to see this lecture again on, uh, on YouTube or you uh, have an option that you can watch this a lecture again on a team. Uh, and I have given you a two uh, email addresses. One is the official one and other is my journal email address. That's kashival2003 at gmail.com or abkashival, S-A-U-E-D-U dot -E com. Uh, both emails are um, functional and you can drop any um, query, any uh, information or uh, any uh, a literature you needed regarding the um, lecture you you can or any clarifications you needed you can communicate through a email or even you can communicate through my whatsapp number so you can uh, receive my emails or you may have to receive my assignments as well as the uh, instructions uh, which might be individually be provided to the individuals that may have to be reached at oh, your uh, WhatsApp number. So you all uh, students has to close the mics when I am <coughs> starting this uh, uh, Riemann Furman Tuition <coughs> Lecture. Uh, uh, every student must have <coughs> closed <coughs> his, his uh, voice. <coughs> so hopefully that uh, every student has to close the mic. Uh, Otherwise, I have to do the job. I have to do the mic. I have to do the mic. I have to do the mic. I will be a good one. Otherwise, I will not allow any mic to be used. Okay. Uh, you are not stopping your voice. Uh, okay. Now I will let you after 10 minutes to discuss with me. Now your voice will not come down in my lobby. Uh, as you are uh, looking this uh, pic uh, picture that is demonstrating that the mouth is uh, used for a chewing a new food or it, it also uses for a regurgitation of a food through a mixing it with a saliva. So the ruminants always perform the chewing by a mouth and as well as they are performing during a resting time a regurgitation which is known as a rumination as well. Uh, the esophagus is uh, the, uh, that is uh, clumps of dehydrated food. The cud is being transferred from, uh, from, your, from a mouth to the uh, stomach and is regurgitated back into a mouth uh, for further chewing. So, this is the ruminant hai, वो खाना खाने के बाद उसको दोबारा रीगर्जिटेट करता है, जुगाली करता है, दोबारा उसे खाता है। अच्छा जो कार्ड है वो जो है ना स्टमक में जाता है, फिर जो काई में वो वापस आता है और उसको दोबारा उसको रीमंक में वो उसको डाइजेस्ट करता है, ब्रेकडाउन करता है इनटू अस्मालर पीसेस एंड देन इट � uh, to perform the collection of all swallowed food and its separation into a solid and a liquid part, and then the fermentation of a cellular fibers takes place in the rumen. Uh, whereas after uh, the fermentation, the reticulum has to further fermentate the cellular fibers and then uh, to convert it into the, uh, um, the uh, into the glucose or a uh, uh, for the decomposition is taking place. Uh, whereas the, uh, the digested food has to be transferred uh, then again uh, to the omism where the absorption of the fluids takes place and then the abomism transfer this food into the abomism where the two stomach or a digestion of a protein takes place and then it is being uh, transfer to the small intestine duodenum that has to be received and that most of the absorption has to be taken place in the small intestine. There's a duodenum, duodenum ileum, and then there is a uh, cecum, colon, and a rectum where the defecation takes place through anus. 
So this is the process of a digestion which is taking place in the digestive system of a cattle, which is the ruminant. Now you can see the parts of a rumen. That's uh, as I have told you that uh, there are uh, four parts of the rumen uh, compound a stomach. Uh, one is the rumen, the largest part of the uh, ruminant is a rumen, and then the reticulum, and then the omasum and albumism. So there are uh, four parts of the uh, uh, compound a stomach. Uh, so you can see the papillae in the rumen, and then the uh, comb-like structure and then the force-like structure. So these are the internal uh, structure of the uh, rumen, reticulum, omasum, abomasum, and as well as the outer structure. So inner structure is a uh, uh, mucosa and the outer structure is the serosa of the uh, stomach. So you can see that the uh, animal having a and the uh, food taken by a lips and uh, using a tongue to receive uh, the prehension. Apprehension is being taken place uh, to grab the food into the mouth and then the mastication takes place by using the mouth and teeth and then the swelling is takes place through a deglutition. Uh, that's uh, the food is transferred into the stomach or a rumen where uh, the and the resting time the animal is again regurgitated, uh, take um, back the food by antiperistaltic movements into the mouth, and then they are mixing a saliva and uh, then regurgitated or uh, reach you the food and then again taken place, uh, taken into the stomach. And then it is transferred to the uh, through a esophagus into the stomach, uh, rumen, and then it is transferred to the uh, from a rumen to the reticulum and from a reticulum to the omasum and from a omasum to the abomasum and then it is absorbed through intestine and also excreted through a large intestine. So you can see the anatomical and a histological uh, view of the uh, um, uh, compound stomach or rumen, a reticulum, omasum, abomasum and then you can see the histomorphology of a rumen. You can see that uh, the villi of the rumen and then the uh, measurement of a particular cells and as well as, as uh, epithelial cells. And uh, uh, the morphology has uh, uh, very clearly demonstrated the different structure of a reticulum, rumen, and abomasum and abomasum. So the rumen development takes place from a birth. The newborn mostly having a 5% of the reticulum, uh, whereas the rumen has a 25% in the newborn and uh, omasum is a 10%, whereas the abomasum is a larger up to a 60%. So this uh, uh, means that uh, the uh, largest portion of the uh, uh, newborn is a 60% is of the abomasum in a compound uh, stomach, whereas whenever the animal is going to be the adult uh, that has to re reduce in its size and it remain up to a 7 to 8% and the rumen has to be increased from a 25% to 80%. Then the largest portion of the uh, compound stomach in the adult is rumen which is uh, composed of 80% of the total compartments. So needs to develop anatomically and physiologically. The development depends upon the diet type fed the young pre ruminant animals. So at a two to three months of age, the reticulum is a 5%. So the reticulum remains constant in its size from a newborn to adult whereas the rumen changes its size from a 25% to 80% and it uh, achieves its uh, main size up to a 65% in the month of a two to three months, whereas the omasum remain uh, constant up to a 10% up to a two to three months, but it reduces its size uh, as compared to the 
uh, the uh, the other part of the compound is stomachs uh, that's 7 to 8%. The abomism is also of a, the uh, 7 to 8 percent. So it is reducing from a 60 percent to a 7 to 8 percent. So mostly uh, the uh, at the age of a two to three months, it remains uh, 20 percent. So the reduction in uh, it starts from a beginning and that ends up to adult. Now the Riemann papillae, the Riemann interior surface, the papillae vary in a shape and a size from a short and a pointed to a long and foliate structure. So the papillae length uh, is a in a cow that is a 10 to 15 mm, whereas in a sh young sheep 3 to 4 and 4 to 6 mm, and in the young goat it remains 4 to 6 mm in a length. Whereas the Riemann wall, including the papillae, squamous, characterized, stratified, provides a barrier between the blood and the luminal environment of the Riemann and makes up to 40 to 60 percent of a total Riemann weight uh, and influenced by the nature of a diet that is a volatile fatty acids to which they are exposed. So therefore, uh, the animal's Riemann uh, structure, Riemann uh, size depends on the uh, feed or a diet being given to the uh, animals. The Riemann is the world's largest commercial fermentation space, which having a 100 billion liters of a Riemann volume in the domestic animals, 10 raised by 10 or a 10 raised by 12 cells per ml. So Riemann capacity ranges from a less than a one liter or a one quart to a decker to a 200 liters or a 50 gallons in a cow. So this is a Riemann fermentation tax place in a Riemann that's the highest and largest portion of uh, the fermentation of the ruminants. So continuous culture fermenters input and output depends on a, a lignocellulosic uh, substrate or a forages digested by the presence of a cellulase complex or a hemicellulases. So the nitrogen capture is at into a 10 raised by 15 mouse to feed. So because these uh, these uh, microbial enzymes ruminants can utilize the feed stuffs that provide a little to a no nutritional benefit to non ruminants. Four steps of a remuneration. One is the regurgitation which reverse the peristaltic carries the food to the mouth and then the Remastication means liquid is squeezed from the bolus and the swallowed bolus chewed, whereas the reinsulation adding a more saliva, adding more saliva in in the in the uh, food and then the re deglutition takes place, swelling of the bolus and the liquids takes place, and this these are the four uh, remination steps. One is the regurgitation. Remastication, reinsulation, redeglutition. So these are the four steps which are taking place for regurg uh, for rumination. You can look into the uh, animals. That animal has to take the food by mouth and then it is chewed in, in into the mouth and then the bolus is swallowed. Uh, deglutition has to perform through esophagus. It reaches into the rumen and then. In the resting time, the animal regurgitate or remasticate the uh, material, the bolus, which may have to come down again by antiparasitic movements into the mouth. And the uh, regurgitation takes place, remastication takes place, reinsulation takes place, re deglutination takes place. So that allows the animals to forages and eat food rapidly and then store for a later digestion. So reduces the particle size. Only small particles leave uh, reticulorema, increases the surface area for a microbial attachment and digestion and fermentation, breaks down the impervious plant walls, further stimulation of saliva flows, and saliva serves to buffer the rema. Average time for grazing animals is at eating for eight hours ruminating for eight hours, resting for eight hours. So the ruminating time is quite variable. High variation reducing forages concentrate decreases the remuneration. 
whereas the reducing particle size of the forages decreases the time spent in a ruminator. So this means that the rumination takes place in the animals um, if the forages are in the in a um, uh, in a high concentration. So if the concentration of the forages is decreases, rumination will decrease. If the particles of the forages decreases, even the time spent for ruminating, ruminating is also decreases. So the mechanism of rumination or regurgitation, it starts by stimulation. The stimulus is the digesta in the fi in fiber, mate scratching surface near the cardiac sphincter. Contraction of the reticulum forces digesta to cardia. Animal inhales the epiglottis closed to produce a vacuum and cardia inspector opens and the esophagus dilates. So negative pressure vacuum sucks the digesta into the esophagus and rapid reverse peristaltic moves the digesta to the mouth. This is known as a regurgitation mechanism. Whereas the remastication, re-insulivation and re-deglutition is the bolus is re chewed chewing is a slower and a more deliberate than during initial eating phase, whereas the digest are re-insulivated, that the parotid gland secretes more saliva during the rumination than eating, and saliva from the parotid gland secretes a more um, methane than the other glands, sodium bicarbonate than the other glands. So re-swallowing, after re-swallowing, the rumen contracts to more swallow, Swallowed bolus into the rima. So re-swelling has performed the larger bolus to be swallowed and moved into the rima. Whereas the remastication and reglutination, the cud are chewed and saliva is added. Then the cud from the front uh, layer of the uh, layer are erected, where the cuds placed at a rear part of the rima and the small particles gradually sinks. The reducing particle size of a ingested feeds chewing during a eating minimal, that's the preparation for a swallowing, release the soluble constituents, damage plant, plant tissues for a microbial attachment. So chewing during a remastication extensive decreases the particle size of for a passage and damage the plant tissues for a microbial attachment and microbial digestion takes place and the reticulo-reminal contractions takes place when there is the small particle size of the ingesta. Rumen contraction uh, inoculate the incoming feed with the microbes, mix the contents and minimize the effect of stratified, uh, stratification move the uh, fermentation products like volatile fatty acids to a rumen valve. Particle sorting and a passage of a small particles to a omism, a rumination, eructation of a fermentation gas is tax place. So the rumino reticular movements, uh, motilities can be observed in, in this video that the uh, rumen always uh, uh, moves uh, for uh, three to five times and uh, it always moves the uh, feed strap uh, into the rumen and uh, the reticulum. So need for erectation, mostly peak gas production occurs 30 minutes to a two hours, post feeding up to a 30 to 50 liters per hour in a cow. 5 liters per hour in a sheep and goats. So approximately 30% of a carbon dioxide produced in a rumen is absorbed into the blood and removed through the lungs. The remainder is eructated. Uh, only 20% of the um, CH4 is removed through the lungs, whereas 80% is eructated. So carbon dioxide, mostly the composition of a rumen gases is carbon dioxide the uh, methane uh, variable, then the ni nitrogen, uh, oxygen uh, at the wall, and then the hydrogen and the uh, hydrosulfuric acid. So uh, this is the uh, very low percentage of a H2S, 
that is a 0 0.01, whereas the hydrogen is 0 0.12 and the oxygen is 0 0.56. And the most of the gases is, is the carbon dioxide, which is 65.35. And major portion of that uh, carbon dioxide is excreted through a lungs. Uh, whereas the carbon, the methane, uh, 27 points. Uh, 6% and nitrogen 7%. Stimulate the gaseous distension of the reticulum and rumen, esophagus dilates and animal batches 12 to 30 liters per minute for a kettle and 3 to 17 times per minute. Mostly the erectation takes place in the cow and the higher volume of the gases are being erectated through a mouth. Whereas the inhibition, the presence of a digester near the cardiac inspector affects all three inspectors, protecting mechanism to prevent the digester from entering the lungs. Epinephrine, fight or flight response, inhibition of erectation will cause the animal to blot, whereas the ruminal pressures will increase up to a 100 mm hygrometer whereas the stable froth are a foam formed in the rumen. So mostly the, in the ruminants, the main reason of a blot or a tampony is the accumulation of the gases into the rumen. Feed the microbes, let the microbes feed the ruminant, uh, ruminant. that's a feed in and volatile fatty acids are microbial protein vitamins. The nutrients presented to the animal after ruminal fermentation are very different than those entering the rumen as feed. So the rumen digestion and fermentation mostly degradable feed the rumen microbes. They degrade mostly the products uh, used by the host animals. That's a volatile fatty acid, microbial cells long chain and a fatty acids. So the, these are being consumed by the host animal, whereas the product uh, in a green and a black are not usable by the animal. So this, uh, the carbon dioxide is not used by the animal, the, the methane, ethane and the heat and the H2S is not used by the animals, whereas the products listed in the green are the primary energy losses from the rumen. This is the primary loss, which always been the CH4 and the heat is losses earlier in the, during the digestion than the carbon dioxide and NH3 and H2S. The location of a microbes, mostly the microbes uh, are present in the uh, rumen fillet and the rumen wall and the fiber made and gas phase. The gases, uh, ruminoreticular motilities, always the gases are being uh, moved. Today's hairs and the grain and the yesterday's hair is moving to a reticular, rumen reticular uh, motilities. If you see that uh, the uh, rumen microorganisms and nutritional requirements, carbon dioxide that produces the energy and products for a digestion of uh, structural carbohydrates and fermentation of a sugar. So that is producing the uh, energy, where the nitrogen is produced by the ammonia, the majority of a nitrogen needs, Ammoni uh, amino acids, cellulolytic bacteria, uh, they are producing amino acids, the minerals like uh, cobalt, sulfur, phosphorus, sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium, magnesium, ferrous, zinc, uh, molybdenum, and selenium. These are being the minerals available in the uh, uh, nutrition, whereas the vitamins are non required in a mixed cultures of a bacteria. Where is the symbiotic relationship the microbes provide to the ruminant, the digestion of a cellulose and hemicellulose, provision of a high quality protein, production of a volatile fatty acid, provision of the B, uh, B vitamins, where the detoxification of a toxic compounds also uh, performed by fermentation or by the bacteria. 
the digestion of a cellulose in a hemicellulose is being performed by the cellulases, which is produced by the microbial origin. So the without microbes, ruminants would not be able to use the forages crops such as the pasture or a hay or a silage. So for feeding of a pasture, hay or a silage, animals require the microbial, uh, microbial flora, which has to convert the cellulose uh, to produce a cellulose, which has to help in the digestion of a cellulose and a hemicellulose. Whereas the provision of a high quality of the protein, you have to require a 50 to 80 percent of absorbed nitrogen is from the microbes. Improve the microbial efficiency will provide a more microbial protein. Where can get over three kg of a microbial protein per day in cattle. High biological value protein sources. Amino acid pattern is very similar to that required for the ruminous animals. Microbes as a feed source. Microbes as a feed source. Bacteria and protozoa washed out of the human to a omism and into a abomism. Acidic environment kills the microorganisms and digested and absorbed the same as any other feed source in stomach and small intestine. So it provides the amino acids and some energy. So the microbial flora also works as a feed of the animal. So therefore, the when the microbial flora reaches into the reticulum it is uh, killed by the environment acidic environment and then digested and absorbed by the uh, in the form of a amino acid and energy by the intestine and stomach energy the source of energy leaving a rumen that is a volatile fatty acid which is a 70 percent of the any the the energy where the microbial cells also provides the energy that is the 10 percent and digestible unfermented feed is a 20 percent so no glucose available for the ruminants so concentration of the volatile fatty acids in a rumen is 50 to 125 micrometer per ml provision of the beta b vitamins meets the ruminants requirements under the most conditions. Some supplementation of a specific vitamin, vitamins such as the niacin may be beneficial in the early lactation dairy cows. So the B vitamins are also provided by the flora. Detoxification of a toxic compounds, many potential toxic are detoxified by a rumen microbes. So the uh, mimosine in a lucina causes a problems poor growth, reproduction, and hair fall. Uh, high on ruminant, uh, but not those from the Australia, who have a microbes and degrade the mammocene, so the leucina could be fed. Uh, transferred rumen fluid often from the high on cattle to Australia, where as inoculated rumens of uh, uh, Australian cattle. So they fed the leucina safely to Australian Ruminant. So this is the one of the method that to uh, change a flora by feeding the flora from a one animal, one uh, breed of the animals to other breed of the animals that has to help in the digestion of the uh, the toxic uh, compounds or a toxic uh, feed uh, by the uh, same species. So therefore, if we have to change the flora of a one animal to other animal that also assist in the digestion and detoxification of the feed. Symbiotic relationship, the ruminants provide to uh, microbes, housing, garbage removal, nutrients, and optimal environment for growth. Housing means that a reliable heat that is a 39 plus minus 2 centigrade. So it maintaining the uh, temperature of the uh, uh, rumen. So the fluid environment requires a free water intake. It provides 85 to 90 percent of the water and guaranteed the housing for 18 to 96 hours, depending on diet and type of an animal. So extra feed water, buffalo, longest human residence time for microbes. So small selective browsers like a mouse, 
डियर अडिकर शार्टेस्ट रेजिडेंस टाइम फॉर माइक्रोस वेयर इज द गार्बेज रिमूवल द एब्जॉर्बशन ऑफ वोलेटाइल फैटी एसिड्स एनर्जी टू अरिमिनेंट्स दैट प्रोवाइड्स द एनर्जी टू द रिमिनेंट एरेक्टेशन ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड आरसीएच4 पैसेज ऑफ इनडाइजेस्टेबल रेजिड्यू एंड माइक्रोब्स टू अ लोअर गैस्ट्रोइंटेस्टाइनल ट्रैक्ट so the riemann mixing to a separate and a settle small particles it means that the garbage is also removed by the microbes by converting the garbage into a volatile fatty acid energy and the uh, gases that is also being erected by the animal and the passage of the indigestible residue also converted by the microbes to in the lower GI tract by uh, converting it into the uh, suitable and even um, important uh, nutrients for the animals. The nutrients, the substrates, come from a feed stuffs that animal uh, consumes. The saliva provi provides the urea, nitrogen source for a bacteria. Where is the optimal environment for the growth? Reduced environment, little to no oxygen. strict anaerobic microbes in a rimen interior and functional ana uh, anaerobes near the rimen wall it maintains the ph 6 to 7 and the saliva contains the bicarbonate and phosphate buffer buffers and cows produce up to a 50 gallon per hour of a saliva daily and continuously secreted more added during the eating and rumination cow ruminates Ten to twelve hours per day, and decreases in the particle size of forages, reduce need of rumination, and decreases the chewing time, and decreases the saliva production and rumen pH uh, polymerase. So that means that the saliva also assists in the digestion, and it is also containing the amylase, which also helps in the digestion of the carbohydrates. so salivary glands has to produce uh, the uh, uh, hormones and the saliva that is uh, uh, helping in the digestion of the roughages and the grains and concentrate uh, up to 150 liters and the 140 liters of a grains and concentrates so the optimal environment uh, if the ph is 5.7 rather than 6.5 the 50% less microbial synthesis takes place and cellulitic bacteria functions best at the ph of 6.8 whereas the rate of structural carbohydrate use is decreased so amylolytic bacteria function best at ph of 5.8 so more lactate and less acetate is produced further downward the ph is spiral in concentrated selectors like a deer parotid salivary glands are 0.3% of a body weight symbiotic relationship and that's the microbes provide to the ruminant digestion of cellulose and hemicellulose where is the provision of the high quality protein production of a volatile fatty acids provision of a vitamin b detoxification of toxic compounds it provides a better housing garbage removal nutrients and optimal environment for the growth these are the symbiotic relation of the microbes with the ruminant animals so the microbes are uh, bacteria 60 to 90% of a mass whereas the 20 uh, generate generation interval is a 20 minutes whereas the 25 to 80 billion per ml they are available and the protozoa is 10 to 40% of the mass whereas it remain for 8 to 36 hours and they are available in 200 to 500 thousands per ml whereas the fungi is available in the 5 to 10% of a mass and they are available for 24 hours and minimum number is available per ml in the Uh, ruminants so this is the ratio of a microbes the mostly 60 to 90% are a bacteria 10 to 40% are a protozoa 
where as 5-10% are of fungi. So the bacteria, mostly the 200 species, which are many subspecies, 25 species at a concentration of a 10 raised 7 per ml. So 10 raised 10 to 10 raised 10 raised uh, um, 12 cells per ml. So 99.5% obligate anaerobes are present. Environment niches for bacteria. The groups of a bacteria in the human uh, free living in the liquid phase, losing loosely associated with feed particles, firmly adhered to a feed particles, associated with a human epithelium, attached to a surface of a protozoa and fungi. So the benefits of bacterial treatment allows the bacteria to colonize the digestible surface of the feed particles, brings the enzymes from a microbes and substrate from the feed stuffs together, protects the microbial enzymes from proteases in the rumen. If attachment prevented or reduced, digestion of a cellulose greatly reduced. So the retention time of microbes in the rumen is increased to prolong digestion. Uh, reduces the predatory activity of a protozoa. Overfeeding state to a ruminants can coat the forages and reduces the bacterial attachment. So cellulitic bacteria means fiber digesters, digest the cellulose and hemicellulose, requires the pH 6 to 7, and utilize the nitrogen in, in the form of a methane, requires a sulfur for a synthesis of a sulfur containing amino acids, cysteine and methionine, where it produces the acetate and propionate little bitter at carbon dioxide and predominant in a rumen of the cows feed the roughages dietes. So this is the uh, cellulitic bacteria which are um, very much uh, digest, uh, helps in the digestion of cellulose and hemicellulose. So the amylolytic bacteria, they digest the starch and sugars uh, requires uh, pH of a 5 to 6 percent, 6, uh, utilizes the nitrogen and methane or a peptides, whereas it produces the propionate and butyrate and lactate. Predominant in a ruminant, rumens of a cow fed grain diets, whereas the rapid change to grain diet causes the lactic acidosis and rapidly decreases the pH. Methane producing bacteria. They produce the methane, utilizes by microbes uh, for energy, and represent the loss of energy to animals and release the erectation. Protozoa microbes, they are large in the number, so 200 to, uh, 20 to 200 microns. Unicellular organisms ingest, uh, ingest the bacteria and the feed particles, and engulf the feed particles and digest the carbohydrate, protein, and fats, and number affected by a diet. So, Antodinium, the uh, these are the rumen protozoa which are available in the rumen. So, rumen microbes like a fungi existence known for uh, about 25 years, number usually low, digest uh, recalcitrant fibers. So, protozoal organisms attach to a red clover in a rumen of a steer 25 hours after a feeding. Dietary factors that reduce the microbial growth, the rapid on dramatic ration changes, tax three to four weeks for a macro to stabilize. Restricted amounts of feed, excessive unsaturated feed, bacteria do not use the fat for energy. Inhibits the fiber digestion and microbial growth. So the different types of fat have a different effects. Excessive, the dietary factors that reduces the microbial growth, excessive non Structural carbohydrates, lower rumen pH, rumen acidosis, slug feeding, feed barley are weak, rapidly fermented. To prevent the acidosis, must balance the lactate users and producers. The maximum dry matter intake, balanced carbohydrate and protein fractions at the same time. Bacteria need both energy and nitrogen for amino acid synthesis and gradual ration ranges feed available at all times maintains the stable pH. 
so this is the riemann ph which has to be maintained frequently the temperature uh, and the frequent feed has to maintain the ph otherwise if you are changing it twice twice a day it will uh, uh, cause the riemann to be uh, fluctuated so the digestion and utilization of a protein mostly the diet contains the protein it is uh, urea and other non proteinous compounds they are coming down to be degraded and undigested bypass into the rumen and they are being by the microbial protein they 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 are come down into the abomasum to be a, a, in the shape of a protein whereas the protein in the shape of a diet they are degraded into the amino acids are the um, Uh, non-proteinous nitrogenous compounds also uh, changes into ammonia which has to be converted into the amino acids or the urea so the abomasum and the intestine uh, degrade the uh, protein into the amino acid and then it has to be converted into the uh, amino acid and absorbed into the uh, liver Uh, intestine and it reaches to the liver and then it is converted uh, into the tissue metabolism body tissues and the formation of a urine whereas the feces having a undigested protein which has to be excreted uh, whereas the carbohydrates they they are present in the form of a cellulose or a hemicellulose their carbohydrate has to be uh, fermented into a volatile fatty acid that might be a acetic acid uh, propionic acid or butyric acid uh, that has to convert uh, also uh, the carbohydrate has to produce the methane and a carbon dioxide these gases has to be passed through the lungs or it may be uh, uh, passed by eructation uh, whereas uh, the acetic acid propionic acid and by, uh, butyric acid is absorbed into the blood and then it is metabolized into the tissues whereas undigested uh, or un carbohydrate has to reach into the abomasum or intestine and converted into the sugar and then absorbed into the blood and then utilized or metabolized in the tissues whereas undigested uh, carbohydrate which remains uh, in the intestine they may have to come down into the large intestine and that has to be uh, excreted through a nas where is the digestion of the uh, digestion utilization of the fat fat saturated fat and unsaturated fat both come into the uh, rumen and then the they are converted into the saturated fat and the saturated fat has to be absorbed in the abomasum and intestine into the blood where it has to be metabolized into the tissues and the undigested fat has to be excreted through a nas you can see that the rumen of a microbe so the fermentation the carbohydrate has to be changed into acetate propionate and by and butyrate so this is absorbed into the interior wall of the rumen and as well as in the abomasum and intestine so carbohydrate the if you see the acetate uh, propionate and the butyrate which has the acetylcholine the activity and metabolism has to take place the carbon dioxide plus atps are formed and the absorption takes place whereas the uh, uh, the uh, propionate has to be converted 50% into lactate and 50% into carbon di carbon monoxide and plus the atps are formed whereas the acetyl uh, acetyl coenzyme has to synthesize the butyrate into a the carbon monoxide and plus the atps where the uh, 90% uh, has to be converted into the butyrate now if you see the portal flow uh, that they have hepatic metabolism the butyrate the xanthone the glucose uh, glucose and the protein and lactate so this this is being uh, peripheral flow that has to glucose and energy has to be produced and the ketone and protein into the muscle is being metabolized glucose energy and ketone uh, the fatty acids uh, the uh, fat has to be converted uh, converted into adipose tissue whereas the ketone glucose energy and lactose 
and the fat has to be excreted uh, through a milk. So the volatile fatty acid has to be, uh, as it is being mentioned, that it is uh, converted and it is to reach into the form of a butyrate, whereas it has to be reached into the form of a glucose, which is being utilized by the muscles, utilized by the adipose tissues, and also converted into a milk to be excreted uh, and in the dairy animals uh, in the form of a milk. Rumen function overview that the carbohydrate, the crude protein, the fat uh, goes into the uh, rumen where the microbial organism has to act upon the uh, food and then it has to degrade it, the acetic acid, the butyric acid, propionic acid uh, and has to come into the um, liver, has to come into the milk and has to uh, convert it into the excessive ammonia. Whereas this uh, food has to come into the uh, stomach and rumen, where the degradation of the protein and microprotein has to has to develop, and the undigestible protein has to be converted into the digestible form, and it is being absorbed into the abomasum, and then into the small intestine, and the amino acids and the fatty acids and minerals, vitamins and water has to be uh, absorbed in the intestine and then come down into the milk. Whereas the propionic acid, acetic acid and the uh, butyric acid has to be uh, converted into the rumen and it has to come down into the liver where it has to metabolize or it has to reach uh, the uh, propionic acid has to reach into the uh, milk which has to be excreted. Whereas the glucose uh, is uh, converted from the carbohydrate that has to come into the milk and in the form of a lactase, it has to be excreted in the milk. Thank you very much. This is the uh, last slide which is showing that uh, this uh, uh, lecture will be given to you uh, in the form of uh, recording uh, on my YouTube, on my team. You can watch again. If anybody uh, was not able to see that one, uh, this lecture or having any problem in listening or watching the slides, they, they, he may have to uh, watch it on this uh, re-recording of this one. You can see this again and see this on YouTube and my Steam. So you can listen to this again. Thank you very much.